Hi. Welcome to another Power Blast podcast. <laughs> All right, it's a year ago since I tried these things, and I'm gonna leave it as a year ago. I'm not gonna mess up the hand again. Let's go over here. All right, this week I was uh, trying to figure out what to even talk about, and I probably addressed this topic before. Um, well, I was sitting at the pool, writing down some notes, some ideas on, on what to do. I started thinking about um, j just, the way I've been coaching some people and every once in a while we get that little start and stop and sticking to a routine and uh, people emailing me saying, oh gosh, I'm, I'm going to the gym or I'm doing my workouts but I'm not getting results. So as we kind of dig into uh, some, of those, um, some of those issues that people are having, what, we end, what I end up finding is people just aren't being consistent. They don't have a plan. And I know I've talked about the plan before, but you know, one of the things I'll, I'll ask people is, you know, why, why is it that you want to get, you know, work out, get in shape, eat more healthy? You know, what, what's the deal? You know, some people are wanting to lose weight, or they're wanting to, uh, you know, get fit, or just keep up with the kids, or whatever. And that's been a, a topic on, on discussion. But we actually dig into the why, what, it, what is the reason? But um, you know, then I'll ask them, you know, what, what's, you know, what, what's your routine for working out? And they'll be like, well, I don't have one. And I'm thinking, you, know, you need to build that into your daily routine. And if you can be consistent in the time of day that you do it, it makes, uh, makes the success even more possible. Um, you know, I, I know for uh, me and my family, you know, I'm, I'm a guy that works out typically in the morning, uh, where uh, Hillary's uh, later in the evening after work, and, and the same with Corey uh, when, when he does that. But um, you need to have that routine to just be consistent. Now, people have decided on, on the table, they've, or they've decided, you know, what's, what's the best time of day to work out? And it's any time that you can show up consistently, whether it's morning, night, before bed, whatever it is, um, it, whatever works for you that will get you in there to push play or to show up at your gym or, or do whatever workout you're going to do. You, know, you got to be consistent that way. Um, but commit to a, you know to an area of the house if you're going to work out from home that uh, that, you, that you're going to do. But uh, commit to that time time of day that that you're that you're doing. And um, you know there have been people that have started and stopped and started and stopped their workout program, especially if you're doing a workout program from Beachbody. Man, you're never going to complete the program. You keep starting and stopping. Keep moving forward. So what if you miss the gap of days in there? Uh, you, you at least finish the 90 days or the six month or the six week program, whatever it is. But maybe in the next round you do that. I think I think there's kind of a little mental play that happens with the start and stop type of thing, and then you'll have some sort of a life event that happens, and that happens to all of us. Uh, there's always going to be something that works to derail us a little bit, some sort of celebration or some sort of uh, self-pity or some sort of extra work at, uh, or, you know, some, some sort of, you know, family emergency um, that may, may throw you off. But just pick up from, from where you were at. Just know, um, and I think one, one of the other things that, that people should, should know is there's a lot of times that people will um, let their brain talk themselves out of working out or out of um, putting forth enough effort into their workouts. It's very easy for us to, um, to just talk ourselves and say, you know, to justify and, and come up with different, um, different uh, excuses, I guess, or rationales for, for whatever it is. And you need to really, you know, if you're wanting the results and you want to go back to that why, that's the reason why you're showing up and you're pushing play. Now, I do understand there are some days that you just don't feel like it. And for me, I am one that will, um, will decide I'm going to commit to at least 20 minutes. And sometimes I'll go and grab a 20-minute workout. If you're really short on time, the 10-minute trainer is uh, one, that, the one that will really work for you. But, um, you know, the, the past couple of days, I wasn't short on time, but wanted just a nice, convenient get my workout in. 
Um, some of the turbo fire, the hit workouts, phenomenal. Or the fast and furious, um, th th those are nice short, but man, super, super high energy. Um, but probably the biggest thing with uh, being consistent and you know, adding in all the other things is having a plan. Um, a couple of uh, Facebook dialogues that I've had with people recently, people will say, well, I go to the gym and one day I might do this and one day I might do this or, or they've got a bunch of different beach body workouts and I'll be like, whatever I feel like that day. And while I think it's great that you're getting in and working out, um, there's a reason why there's a, a, a plan that you should have in place to work the different body parts as you go through each week and adding in cardio and strength training and yoga and flexibility and, and, the, and, and the stretch. Um, it all combines and all works together. And I never gave that much credibility when I first started. And as I got more and more and kept moving forward with my own health and fitness, I found there were so many things that are so valuable. So my experience, I, I can help people uh, based on my experience and what I've seen others to do. Yeah, I'm not a fitness trainer or an expert in, in, in any sort of way that way, but I, I have, you know, obviously um, succeeded and I can keep uh, challenging myself and moving forward. But those are just some things that I, as I came through that I, some tips that I think can help you if you find yourself in that kind of that stuck area or that plateau. Um, I know this part talked mostly about workouts. Eating and diet also come into play. But for me, when I first started, it was all about the workouts. You know, it was getting in and getting the exercise part and then the process of eating right and seeing the, that food really does matter. Um, that can be another segment. So anyway, that's all I have for this week. Remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.